Reusing tables on different pages of your Confluence instance can be easy if you use the table excerpt and table excerpt include macros from table filter and charts for Confluence. First, add the table excerpt macro. Specify its name. Place the table inside of the macro body and save the page. Repeat the process on other pages if necessary. Now, you can add the table excerpt include macro on the page where you want to depict a table. Type in the excerpt name and select the source page of the table. The macro will pull out all the tables with the chosen excerpt name. If source tables have the same structure, they will automatically merge into one table. If you want to include some information about the source page, select the necessary options in the Show Page Metadata field. To further process the data, you can use filters. When you add the table filter macro, the relevant filters are applied to each table's column. You only need to select which data you want to show. Apart from filtration, you can aggregate data from your table to gain more insights. For that, add the pivot table macro. Choose the settings to group and calculate the correct columns. If you want, you can also turn your table into a chart. If you need to visualize the aggregated data, Go to the edit mode and use table toolbox to combine the macros. When you wrap your table into the chart from table macro, it will generate a pie chart. But you can choose other chart types and change the settings until you are satisfied with the result. After you save the macro in the page, you can keep editing your tables and charts in the view mode. For example, other macros will automatically update if you change filter settings. You can also change chart settings on the fly by adding other columns or changing the chart type. We hope we inspire you to explore Confluence more. Thanks for watching the video.